Today I will show you how to set up seamless cross collaboration within your marketing, sales and support team and allowing your business processes to operate productively between these teams and this resulting in a better overall customer experience. Click on create connection. Give a name to your connection. Then I can restrict which users can connect to HubSpot with this connection. This is a great way to ensure that only right people can access HubSpot. From there, I select the user project that I want to connect. Now I can click on save and the new connection will appear on the list. Once the connection is showing, I click on authenticate. From there, select the HubSpot account I want to connect and click choose account. Your HubSpot account is now successfully connected. Let me start first creating a Jira support request issue. I ensure that the issue I'm creating is in the project I've linked. Then I write a summary for everyone involved to know that this is a customer support issue and I include my customer name. Next, I make sure it has a due date for everyone to know when it is due. The following step is to add a description for the sales and support teams to know that the support request that Gavin Watson requested is for them to take care of and what is to be expected. Now that I have completed the ticket creation process, I click create and then view the issue. It now allows me to link it to HubSpot and I do so by clicking HubSpot CRM for Jira. The following step is click on link HubSpot object. Once the edit window opens, I can decide to add my object and I can choose from deal, company, contact or ticket. But in this case, I'm using a contact. From there, I search for Gavin and select Gavin Watson from the list. I click add selection to issue and it notifies me that it is successful. Now I can click on close and see my contact in the issue. Want to add more objects to this issue? Simply follow the same steps again by searching for your different objects and adding them to the issue. In this case, I'm adding a deal and a company. But I have added Andrew Baker by accident. He should not be included. So I simply click on the dustbin icon to remove his object from the issue. When I click on Gavin Watson, it immediately opens the HubSpot dashboard in a new tab where I can see all the, property, uh, all the properties associated with him. And if I scroll on the way to the bottom of the right hand panel, I can find the Jira issue linked to his profile. As you have already seen, the Jira issue can be found at the bottom of the right hand panel, where you can see which project it belongs to, the status and the assignee. If I click view more, I can also see other important information such as priority and description. However, this is not all, because as you can see, we have few other options under actions. You will also see an add a Jira issue button within your object dashboard. Clicking this button allows you to either link an existing Jira issue uh, to this object or create an entirely new Jira issue to link. From there, we have a few steps to follow. First, you want to add the project which is linked as a part of the connection. Then, you want to select your issue type. In my case, it is another support issue. From here, it is important to add a summary and a description for your teams to know what the issue is about. The next step is to add an assignee. And finally, we hit the Create Issue button. You will now see that the Jira issue is already showing within the Objects dashboard. As we navigate back to Jira, you can also see that we have a notification for the new Jira issue that has been created and assigned to us. Upon opening the notification, we can see it is indeed the issue we have just created. Link to the HubSpot contact, Gavin Watson. 